What was that laugh? Oh my god, I'm gonna borrow this shirt. Okay, I'm gonna borrow that shirt. This is Theo's anyway, so you're okay. basically stealing it from him. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mouthful. Okay. What are we doing? I feel like you oh. say it differently every single yeah, time as well. Okay. You were like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this one. No. Right, today we are making, do I say it every week? One of my favourite cocktails. <laughs> this is one of my favourite beach cocktails. Can I just ask you something? Yeah. What would happen if we put all your favourite cocktails into a blender and whisk them up? Maybe one day on like our 100th episode, we should try that. We are making a frozen strawberry mm. and raspberry daiquiri, which is... That sounds amazing. Delicious on a hot day. And then we're kind of combining our best sides, aren't we? Yeah, you know, I think that um, most meals, but definitely a barbecue, really, really comes to life with what you're serving with the main course. Exactly. So I'm going to make my, I'm going to call them famous between my friends. Did they go viral? No, they, didn't. <laughs> they didn't go viral, Dom, not like you. It is the smashed parmesan potatoes. Oh, they sound so good. They are gorgeous. And what are you making? I'm making a coleslaw with aioli. Hold on, we had a fancier name for it than that. I thought it was like a crimped coleslaw, curly coleslaw. Curly, cur coleslaw. Shed, uh, coles cold not, not coleslaw. No, not a coleslaw. But our little birdie tells me you're not a big fan of coleslaw. I do not like coleslaw, so I don't like cold sores or coleslaw, so we'll have a go, see what this is like. But I think I'll tell you what I do like, the daiquiri. So should we do that first? Let's make a daiquiri. Let's go. Right, this is key when making any frozen cocktail a blender of sorts and some ice. That's a beefy blender. Isn't it? This, yeah. is, a, this is a neutral bullet. This is really good. Uh, and I put quite a lot of ice in there, yeah. okay? Because I like it to be not too runny, like proper frozen. So it's like an alcoholic slush puppy. Absolutely. And you can pretty much do it with any cocktail in my mind. I've then got a panet of strawberries and a panet of raspberries. Okay. You could just do basically any kind of fruit, really, like a mango, daiquiri, pineapple. Now, I said pineapple. the other day, banana, no. but you're not a fan. I think it's a ridiculous idea. Like, I've seen, I've heard of a banana daiquiri, but it's not a milkshake, is it? We're not making a milkshake here. Rum, though. Rum. We do need some rum, dum a dum, rum, rum, rum. Shall I go and get the measuring cup? That's absolutely not. Now, the great thing about a real raspberry strawberry daiquiri is you can put quite a lot of rum, make sure it's white rum, in. A bit more. Really? Oh, he's a little devil, really. Inside, and you probably won't taste it. Then we're putting two full limes, squeezed. Nice. Then some of our classic agave to sweeten it up a bit. Nice. So squeeze that in. And then we're literally going to put it. Yeah. Oh, I think so. You know, I'll taste it in a minute and but find out. But I thought it would be like so much more complicated, like a daiquiri oh. sounds so sort of. No. And you get charged like 15 quid for one of these. Sell it for a fiver, I will. Right, I'm now going to blitz it. Three, two, one. Didn't really do anything. Okay, I'm scared. Why is it not doing it? Do I need to? Yes. Yes. Whoa. You oh, see that look. consistency? That is perfection. Yeah, you were right about the ice. Okay, so they're poured, and we're going to dress it with a little bit of lime to make it fancy because we're fancy. We are right. Very fancy. fancy. I mean, come on, this is looking gorgeous. <laughs> Right, guys, let's have a mouthful. They go, Chris, Tony. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Enjoy. Mm. Oh, that's so mm. good. That is just so. Mm. Oh. Isn't that good? Summer again, isn't mm. it? Yeah. That's two of you five a day, right? mm. yeah. If you eat the lime, Chris, probably mm. three of you five a day, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Right, let's go on to our amazing sides. Mm. In a minute, though. Okay, so the classic side at a barbecue when it comes to potatoes is usually a potato salad, yes. isn't it? It's a little bit boring. It is a bit. I mean, I do make a good one, but this is, I would say, a showstopper. Okay. People are literally picking, <sighs> scraping the parmesan off at the end. Okay, I'm very excited. You should be. Okay, I've got some new potatoes that I've already boiled, and I'm just going to pour them onto a baking tray. Nice. And then we're just going to take a fork, and I'm just going to squash them. It's as simple as that. So you want them to all be kind of pressed down. And don't worry too much about it. It doesn't need to be neat. You don't need to do it a certain amount. If one goes more than the other, don't panic because it's gonna be delicious. So do that to all of them. 
This is kind of like a magic sauce that you pour all over it, which okay. is not really healthy in any shape or form, but it makes it delicious. I'm fascinated to know what's happening. Okay, well, I have cooked a garlic, okay. And actually, I did cook the potatoes and the garlic the day before, and you can do that. Saves the hassle. Yeah, and we know it goes caramelised oh. and it goes juicy, and we are just going to put that, that into a pan. I mean, come on. I do love a, a lovely slow-cooked bit of garlic. Oh my God, isn't it just the best? Mm. So I'm just getting all of that in, I'm making a rice old mess, but... So yeah, I've got this on a medium heat, and now what I'm going to do is take a massive chunk of butter. I mean, it already sounds amazing. Just go with it, you know, the yeah. more the better. Salted butter, or oh, get ready for the drop. Oh. And then extra virgin olive oil mixed in with it. Quite a lot. Oh. It's too good. It's too good, man. And then I'm just going to let that literally shimmer. No, simmer. Shimmer? <laughs> I was like, it's not a disco ball. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to let that do that, do its magic. And Saute? Tell... Saute? Is that the word? Is that the official word? Nice. Well, I'm just going to let it all melt together until it's fully melted. Nice. And then we're going to go back to the potatoes with it. Before we put that lovely juiciness all over the potatoes, I'm actually going to take a little bit of garlic powder, garlic salt, yeah, love, love it. and I'm going to put this all over the potatoes. Now, because I'm using this, we don't actually need to use actual salt, I don't think, because no. it's quite salty, yeah. isn't it? And palm sounds quite salty too, so you don't need extra. Exactly. Don, will you go and get me the sauce, I please? I will, I will. We're going to pour it all over, and we're not going to put parmesan yet, because it will burn. Put it everywhere. Cool. So good. Let me help you out. A bit of that garlic. And then we're going to put this in the oven on 180 for about 20 minutes and then we're going to come back to it to put the parmesan on. So I'm going to pop it in the oven and while we're doing that, Dom is going to make his coleslaw. Slaw? Yeah. yeah coleslaw. <laughs> Right, the potatoes have been in 20 minutes. I've just taken them out. And as you'll see here, just poured Parmesan all over those babies and then put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes to allow that to crisp up. Now, Dom, you're going to convince me that cold sore is delicious. Can you stop calling it cold sore? No, you I know, did it right that well, time. That, that is the thing that the oh, one what's... gets on their lips. Hello, trust me, I know. But I did call it cold slaw then. Just call it slaw. Okay, fine. I'll call it gross. <laughs> I honestly have never liked it and I don't know why. Do you not like mayonnaise? I don't know if it's the cabbage. Cabbage is the best vegetable in the world. No, I, I disagree All completely. Right. Well, look, uh, the, a classic coleslaw is cabbage, yep. onion and carrot. Okay. All right, and I'm doing a classic, but I'm, you know, as we always like, I'm giving a little bit of a mix up. Bit of a twist. Yeah. So you also put it with mayonnaise. I'm not making any old mayonnaise. I am making an immersion blender aioli mayonnaise. Okay, I say alioli. Again wrong. Is it? How do you say it, Chris? Like garlic mayo? I think it's aioli. Alioli. Aioli. There's no uh, double L. Aioli. <laughs> Probably. Okay, I don't even know what an immersion blender is, so I don't know There's why. One I am. Of these babies. Oh, okay, fine. Right. Will you crack my egg, darling? So into here. Into here. I'm a pro at this now, guys. Watch. Yay! I am literally, watch what? this as well. So impressed. Straight into the sink. Lovely. Woo! Now, the garlic. Yep. In there. Can you do that bit? Oh, but you love a bit of a pimple popping garlic <laughs> moment, <laughs> don't you? Here we go. Oh. So nice. this has been pre cooked, yes. the same as the one for the potatoes. Exactly, yeah. So we've kind of got double, oh, a double garlic um, hit here, which is really lovely. Right, next is a bit of lemon juice. All dressings should have a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of acidity. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. You just want, you don't want olive oil. There will be olive oil later, but this is just a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to go for about half a cup. I'm not over measuring, just like that's enough. Also, don't you hate it when people say half a cup when you're in the UK? Because yeah. I'm always like, what the hell is that? Like, what size cup? Like, it's such an American thing. I mean, interestingly, I don't know if it's interesting for now, but interestingly, as long as you use the same cup every time... Oh, it doesn't matter? Yeah. Okay, fine. Why vegetable oil? Because you don't want it to be... Olive oil's going to go in later, but you don't want it to be too strong. You know okay. How, yeah? So this, I'm going to put the immersion blender in. Yep. I'm going to switch it on. And I'm going to tilt, and I'm going to slowly draw the immersion 
blend it up with. It already looks like mayonnaise. Right? How fabulous and easy is that? Right, so this now then needs to go into this bowl. Okay. Okay, so now we want to just do a little bit of seasoning. So I'm going to put some more lemon juice in because I think it needs to have a little bit more sharpness. Yeah. A uh, pinch of salt, which makes everything taste amazing. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper. Just take this little cap off. I'm going to whisk and you're yeah. going to drizzle the olive oil in. Now, a really fine line of drizzle. Well, tell me when to stop. Yeah, now I'm a bit. Going. No, I haven't put any in yet. Oh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. Keep going. Oh, God. No pressure. Keep going. I don't think this is garlicky enough, neither do you. No, so I'm going to grate some garlic in. Get that in. Ooh. Still, though, super easy. Yes, yeah, super easy. I want today, I want tomorrow, I want to wrap it all up in my pocket, I don't want to share it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, now we're going to build the coleslaw, and that is very, very easy. Ooh, that's strong. Mm -mm. Cabbage. Mm. Now, I love just a white cabbage. This is um, one of those love heart cabbages. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's cute, right? And just cut it really finely. I did this with a knife. If you want to, you can use a mandolin, but they are very sharp. Okay. Don't want anyone to lose their fingers. No, thank you. Not on our watch. Right. So that's in there. That's in there. The next thing to go in is onion. Now, you know how much we love a shallot. Yes. <laughs> these are much sweeter than reg can you see this? Th these are much sweeter than regular onions, and I think make make much much nicer addition to the coleslaw. Okay, so you're just slicing it really thinly. Yeah, because a lot of people are not aren't me included, not a fan of a raw onion, but I can handle a shallot. Okay. And then the final thing that goes in is the carrot. Just one? Just No, I'm going to put as much in as I feel needs to go in. And these get grated in okay. on a nice big fat bit of the grater. And then just mix it up so that you've got an even spread of all of the vegetables. Coal is um, German for cabbage. So that's why it's called a coleslaw. We are not just a cooking show, people. So obviously, I'm going to put a little bit of the aioli in here. Still can't get over that's how you say it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then my little magic secret ingredient is Heinz salad cream. I mean, I cream. love salad cream. It's so good because it's kind of got a tartness to it, which is really nice. And it kind of, oh, it just works so well. Even, oh. <laughs> Even if I was using regular mayonnaise, I would use this as well. Right. It's just absolutely delicious. And I am going to use my hands. Okay. Because it's the best way to ensure that everything gets coated. This looks actually good. Yeah, it's really good. It, look at it. This actually looks really nice. Thank God you didn't put sultanas in. I would have sacked you. <laughs> but you're the raisin maid lady. Oh, I hate raisins, honestly. What's, unless it's in a fruit and nut dairy milk. What's the point? It's true. Literally, what's the point? Is that it done? That's it. So we need to get the potatoes, and then we all need to have a mouthful. So let's do that. Sorry. <sighs> Imagine at a barbecue, getting those babies out. They look insanely we, good. We need to hear this. Here we go, listen. Smashed parmesan potatoes served with a really shit coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, come on. So I actually wouldn't put these on a plate. No. I leave them on here because the great thing about Parmesan is that it literally sticks yeah. to the bottom of the baking paper and you can peel it yeah. off so it's like a Parmesan yeah. crisp. It's fabulous. Chris, are you excited about this? Yeah. <laughs> so, excited. so excited. Right, okay. Let's have a mouthful. We might need to put it on plates just for, you know, people oh, burn their hands. Oh, let's just use a fork. Oh, let's come just use on. a fork. Okay, let's get forks. Right, guys, come on, let's have a mouthful. Are we starting with the potatoes? Yes. Oh, my God, they're going to be oh, hot. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that the bit that you no, want? No, it's going to be boiling. Oh, so good. Mm. Do you know what? I really like that. Mm. Good, guys. That's really good. Mm. 
I mean, honestly, I highly recommend you guys make these. Let us know if you do. But thanks for watching. You could stay here and watch it. It's going to be OnlyFans. Just us sat here filming, yeah, eating. Yeah. Slow-mo <laughs> it. Slow-mo it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. And we'll be back soon for another episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.